Hey everybody, it's Aaron from Go Grab a Bicycle Store in Why I'm Missing Pennsylvania. And this is my 60 day update on where we're at after opening the shop. And um, just kind of sharing with everybody the journey so far. I know some people are interested in what it's like right now to open a bicycle shop and the difficulties and things like that. So right off the bat, I will say that revenue, without giving the specific numbers and stuff, revenue's up 36% from April to May, which kind of makes sense because every bike shop is gonna increase in sales uh, over, over that time period as you head into summer. So really my only considerations coming up is, you know, can we make enough money to survive through the winter uh, when sales uh, slow down and things like that. So what has Go Grava been doing and what's been driving revenue? Let me talk about that real quick. So the primary revenue driver for me in a new bike shop has been bicycle repair, and bicycle maintenance. Surprise, surprise. I only thought it would be about 25% of the revenue, but it's right now, since I don't have a lot of bike stock on the floor, it's actually the primary driver. So in the 70 days we've been open, I've done 70 bicycle repairs. So generally speaking, that's been kind of keeping the company running. And luckily, like I said, I think in another video, I already own 75% of the tools. And I'm really handy and I know most bikes and can fix most things. Just like I got my truing stand here. <laughs> now working with brands is another thing uh, to talk about because I did not realize how difficult it was gonna be. Now I had an idea that, you know, bicycling in the industry was a bit territorial. And so I did go to South America and I found like Merino out of Lima, Peru. So I have Merino bikes and we can do custom Duarte bikes and I do have turn bicycles in the shop. Uh, but there are other brands that I wanted that I can't have because, well, they're being sold locally nearby my store. And like I've mentioned in the past, bike companies, or at least bike, bicycle manufacturers, don't want bike shops competing on price. And uh, it's really kind of respectable. It doesn't bother me at all because I would be a bit suspect if a new bike shop opened and all of a sudden they pull the brand away from an established bike shop to support my bike shop. That wouldn't really show any loyalty whatsoever. So even though it is difficult and I wish I had some brands, different brands in here, um, you know, kudos to the bike brands for sticking with their bike shops that are already been selling their products. So that's great. So we will have some other brands in the Go Grab a store and I'll announce those brands uh, as I'm working with them now, uh, as we get them in the store. Uh, I don't wanna tip my hand at the moment, but uh, we got some great bicycles coming into the shop and I'm excited to actually talk about that and get more inventory in here to give more people options to buy bicycles. But the other thing I've specifically been focusing on as a brand new bike shop is building those community relationships with people. That is just really important to me that when you open a business and you're a small business that you're actually embedded with the community that you're selling bicycles out of. So the first initiative we had, which we did last Saturday, was to do a class for the Boy Scouts of America. And in that class, we're gonna work on it every Saturday, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m., teaching them how to change tires, how to maintain their bicycles, the rules of the road, and actually how to ride their bicycles. The event ends with a mountain bike ride, 22 to 25 miles, and they actually get the Scout Cycling Badge. The second thing we're doing, which we're gonna be announcing in just a couple of days, but you're here, here first, is we're working with I Am Able Foundation. The I Am Able Foundation helps get riders who have disabilities onto bicycles and outside. Um, so it's one of our uh, initiatives that we're gonna do here is probably have a, a assistive or adaptive rider, let's say adaptive rider um, meet up at the shop and we'll, see, do, we'll do some adaptive rides for the hand trikes and things like that. And that's just a really great way uh, to provide some assistance or just be kind of really engaged with the community. Not only that, I'm doing all the bike repair work for this organization, this nonprofit, I, I Am Able, and doing all the repair work on their bicycles. So I'm really happy uh, to help in that manner is kind of the way we give back as a small business in our local communities. And so the last thing I would say when I look at the 60 days of the shop being open and as we're trucking along, um, and if you're thinking about opening a bicycle shop yourself, uh, some things to consider. Getting bicycle brands and getting, uh, getting bicycles on your floor takes way more money than I thought. So having the uh, financial resources to actually open a bicycle store, you would probably need to plan between $150,000 to $250,000. Need that in cash or access to that kind of capital. It is very expensive to open a bicycle shop. And not only that, 
you need to be working with brands ahead of time. Like one of the things I missed is when I was signing the lease uh, for the building I'm in now, I was really just focused on getting the walls painted, getting it decorated, getting my brand design in place. And I wasn't really investing as much time as I should have been figuring out what brands I can get into the shop. So now we're into June, today is June 4th, and I'm still not gonna have all the brands that I wanna have until the end of June. That's how long getting these relationships established takes, which means I need to have the capital to get me through to the next spring uh, where we're gonna be fully optimized, embedded with the communities and ready to sell more bicycles. So that is the update. That's a 60 update, 60 day update for the shop. I won't provide another update until the end of the summer. Uh, of course, we're hoping to sell as many bicycles as we can and doing new things and working with new brands. And I'll be putting videos out. Not only that, we have some new products. I'm gonna do some videos on a uh, person local to me is 3D printing some Apple AirTag uh, holders right here and uh, I'll put a video together on how to do that. And we're also gonna be waxing some chains. So you can buy a chain, but you can also buy a wax chain from our online store. And don't forget folks, you can just go to gograva.com and every day, every week, I'm adding more and more products that we can ship directly to you. So as we get through these businesses closing and these fantastic sales you're seeing online right now, maybe next fall when all of that clears out and you need a reliable source to get materials from and the best customer service possible, you can go to gotograva.com, take a look at everything that we have and uh, maybe buy some and support local. All right, everybody, take care, bye.